Hey guys, B8KD here. I'm just going to do a little guide on the Hound. Um, this is a pretty cool little frigate. Um, it has the ability to stealth and it has one of the higher flight velocities um, on a frigate. I think it has uh, slightly less than the Condor, but the flight velocity is 366, allowing this to uh, speed tank essentially. Um, total ship costs around 20 mil and I'll show you how I have it fitted and my skills that help this uh, ship out. Pretty much I have a Caldari Navy medium torpedo launchers. Um, if you see there it has a 14.41 kilometer range which this will be important in a minute. I have of course my interruptive warp disruptor a Predator Stasis Web of Fire, which is optimally 14.8 um, kilometers. I have a Smuggler Small Afterburner, which that could be better. A Veteran Small Shield Booster, just to stay alive longer. And my Mark 7 Covert Ops uh, Cloaking Device. This is the one that allows you to warp while cloaked. Um, rig wise, I'm going to install a flight time bonus of 7.5% and a free 7.5% damage. On mechanical rigs, I'm going to do the free 6% velocity and a 10% inertia modifier. It'll allow us to uh, stay in the correct orbit and hopefully uh, orbit pretty fast. Now, if we go back into our Navy torpedo launchers, we now have a 15.4 missile range. So what I'm optimally going to do is orbit at 14, hopefully right at 14 there. And I will be able to web just about anybody and be able to shoot my uh, torpedo launcher off comfortably. I can always orbit a little bit closer, like uh, 12 or 13, just so I don't uh, lose my range. But um, it should be pretty easy to correct with how fast this guy goes. Um, we have a total DPS of 210, which is pretty decent. Defense wise is pretty crummy, 2900. You should expect that on a frigate, but you see our shield is the highest, so we will be shield tanking. Um, let's just undock really quick and see how fast this puppy goes. Um, I will not be using the bombard mode um, with this build, pretty much. Uh, I think it's a useless skill. It actually reduces your damage in a large majority of the cases or fights I go in, but we'll just avoid that completely. So this isn't bad, about 1200 meters a second. That's about what my assault breacher gets. Um, we can stealth, which is pretty cool. Um, we go Uh, disable that. Yeah, it should slow us down substantially. So we'd have to creep up on somebody going around, yeah, 580, which isn't too entirely slow. Um, skill wise on this ship, you can see um, our roll bonus is a negative 90% medium, medium torpedo power grid, a negative 50%. Um, Cloaking device reactivation delay. A plus one covert ops cloaking device allows us to equip the cloaking device. And a 100% uh, cloaking device lock delay. That allows us to lock <clears throat> immediately after um, coming out of cloak, which is different from the Blackbird, which you have to wait 30 seconds. Our medium missile torpedo upgrade. Um, is going to give us uh, a lot of damage increase and in velocity. 
And this is the important one, Expert Frigate Command Bonus. Expert Frigate is a pretty hefty thing to invest in because you have to get level 5 advanced. But each level of Expert Frigate Command, you'll get a 5% velocity bonus, which um, I only have two points in, currently training to level 3 for that additional 5%. Um, this is kind of a nice skill because on top of that 5%, I'll get a 2% velocity increase and a 2% inertia modifier. So yeah, we're going to be sneaking up on some people um, right about the 14-15 kilometer range, warp disrupting and cutting them. So this should be a pretty strong build and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so before we get to the uh, PvP clips, um, I'm just going to show you how well this performs in a uh, PvE scenario. This is only a uh, tier 5 small. This can do something a little bit larger. Let's just go into our fittings again, and remember our missile range is 15 kilometers, and our Predator is at 14.8. So on something like the Burst, we want to do right at 14. We are stealthed right now, so we can comfortably align ourselves where we want, so they're not all right on top of us. Um, I can then uncloak when we're about there. Well, uncloak, lock them, afterburner, and I can start my volley and stasis web of fire him. And we just comfortably kite this burst around. Let's go ahead and try the Thrasher next. Oops. So it looks like we got webbed there, so we took some damage. Oops, not 15. Let's go to 14. Get him nice and webbed up. And let's launch our volleys. Looks like we missed somehow. There we go, 703 damage. Let's go, let's just go to 12 there. Let's see what kind of damage difference, 823. So I'm not doing the best damage, but um, if we cover this guy next, lock onto him, and we'll go into our skills really quick. Um, you see that my afterburner is only 5 and 4, so that could be higher, you could be going faster. Um, my frigate command's pretty high there. Um, I do have a pretty hefty defense, and shield operation is decent. Um, frigate engineering is uh, pretty high. What are we looking for though? Oh, uh, medium. medium uh, torpedo upgrade so if we get this up to five that gives us uh, about 10 percent damage plus whatever this gives so additional 13 14 percent damage which is quite a bit we'd be hitting around a thousands and if i had my uh, afterburner up um, we'd be going around 12 to 1400 meters a second um, let's go ahead and uh, kill this guy now 
So 200 damage with the speed that he's going. We'll web him and we do twice as much damage, up to 400. Potentially in a PV, P, PVE scenario, you'd want to carry two webifiers. You'd probably do even more damage there. Um, the slower they go, this seems like the more damage you do with uh, torpedoes here. But we are able to comfortably take out this uh, tier 5 here. 60, let's just go a little bit closer. Let's go to the optimal range and see what it... And webify him. So we get the full effect of our torpedoes. So it does seem like the optimal range for these torpedoes are 11 kilometers there. There's probably some calculation I'm missing. Um, explosion radius, activation time. Flight time, 4.7 seconds. Yeah, there's some calculation in there that... Uh, 11 or 12, probably uh, orbiting at the 12 kilometers so people can't web you and you can web them back. You probably don't need the Predator in my case. Um, probably something just one tier under this uh, and do the 12 kilometers. The standard webifier does 10.8 or something so you'll be comfortably outside that range speed tanking. But all right, let's uh, sneak up on some people and uh, see if we can kill them. So, I am in the range of a Caracal trainer here. He has no idea that I'm right on top of him. So let's go up here. Let's go ahead and orbit this guy at 12 kilometers. And once we get in range, I will uncloak, warp jam him, and he will have no idea. I wonder who that was. Okay. All right, we got him right in our grasp. Got him at the 12 kilometer orbit. And he is webbed. He had no idea we were right on top of him. And we are going right into the rats. Doesn't seem like he is retaliating. This is just a trainer, should be easy to take down. I'd like to take a few hits from him, see how tanky this ship is, but doesn't seem like he is gonna fight back. And we took him out. Let's loot his cruiser. Let's get out of here. So, on our warp out, I'm going to cloak up. Now we are 100% safe wherever we go. He did have a Mark V. Interesting uh, setup he's got there. Small energy Nosferatu, Mark V Warrior. It's not the best loot in the world, but uh, I guess the whole thing was uh, sneaking up on him is the, uh, you know, a surprise tactic and people aren't prepared for it. Well, 
Looks like we got an omen trainer here. Let's slowly start to approach him. Sneaky style. Let's get our orbit set at 11. Actually, let's do 12 on this guy. Just in case he webs us. We have our interruptive uh, stasis webifier. It's like he has a drone. Mark three drone, so that's not going to do much of uh, anything. We are in disruptor range, but I'm going to get slightly closer so I can uh, do full damage right out of cloak. Since we are stealth, we uh, pretty much can sneak right on top of him. Okay. And right now is probably about a good time to uncloak, lock him. Here we go, we got him webbed, disrupted, and let's take him out. This is just a trainer ship, so it is going to be fairly easy to take him out. We are going 1,200 meters a second, so it's going to be pretty hard for him to uh, catch us. I'm speed tanking him like this. And Omen Trainer bites the dust. Let's pop his pod for fun and go check the loot out. Don't expect very good loot. Yeah, joust medium pulse laser. He had a warp core stabilizer, which is kind of odd. It is medium Nosferatu's, go for around 400k, not bad. And his pulse lasers don't go for much. Yeah, about a one mil PK, not too bad. Now we can also go around looting his loot that he left here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it for him and uh, come back on the next one. Looks like we got a can you here. I think he may have been looking for me. Doesn't look like he's doing much of anything. Probably just can't hit me because I'm going 1200 meters a second. See if we can take him out before help can come. Okay, they're all calling out to their friends. If somebody warps in, we're pretty much dead. Uh-oh. We might be dead here, boys.
All right, that guy was lucky, but we made it out with the skin on our teeth. Oof. Lucky that guy called his friend. All right, let's just go stealth up um, at a celestial body. They will never find us, but uh, off we go. Well, I thought I'd just throw this in. Um, we are completely out of armor and about a quarter of our hole is gone. Um, let's just check the repair cost on this type of ship. 107k, not too bad. Um, some of the more expensive ships, sometimes I carry a armor repair around. Um, when I'm out of armor, I'll just uh, equip it in the station. I'll undock, repair, and then redock and put my uh, actual item on, like my shield booster. But yeah, not too expensive on this ship, so you can take a good beating and not uh, have to pay out of pocket for it. All right, so I'm going to be hunting some miners now. Um, I have two warp disruptors equipped. Hopefully they have no stability or we can kill them before they realize it. I put a dealer small micro warp drive on here, which is going to completely drain this capacitor, but it's for quick escapes. Um, shield booster doesn't really do too much. Um, you can arguably, arguably put a small fleet um, shield extender on for the about 1,200 additional shield. Um, I'm hoping this will just be like our ticket out of there. We can put a damage control on here as well. Um, that will also give us about 15 seconds of not dying. So hopefully we can micro warp drive away in that time. If anybody comes to fight us, this is kind of the... Um, drive-by setup, you sneak up on a venture, hopefully they don't have plus four or more stability, and we uh, take them out. All right, um, let's get into it. Okay, looks like we got somebody here, a retriever, so I don't think we're going to kill him. These guys are pretty loaded with uh, warp stability, and they probably do have a bunch of uh, minor friends come help uh, gank me if I fail. So let's just sneak on up on him nice and slow. About 12 or 13 kilometers will lock on him. I had my buddy or multiple warp disruptors, we could take this guy out pretty easy. Take this guy out. Okay, we got another hound here. This may or may not be a good idea.
Okay, this micro warp drive is not doing too much here. Get in a little bit closer here before we run out of. Probably take one of these off. We're really just doing no damage to each other. Just try to get a little bit closer, maybe. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and warp away. Seems to have his hound fit a little bit better than mine. If we had a web of fire, we would have uh, definitely killed him, but in this case, we do not. We are out of here. Gonna go ahead and just stealth up and uh, move on. Sucks we didn't get attacked that uh, retriever, but at least we got a fight out of it. Well, looks like we got a Caracal trainer here. Some decent damage on him. Get our shield extender ready and our micro warp drive just in case like 10 people warp in. I did see another red in the area so we have to be a uh, swift on this one. Seem like he even wants to fight back. He might just be AFK or panicking. Well, he has his shield stuff on, it looks like. Just gonna micro warp drive, get back into gear here.
Canyon Shield Extender. And we got him. Let's check his loot out. Ooh. Let's get out of here. That Vexer will completely destroy us. If I was in anything else, I'd probably fight that Vexer, but this thing, uh, has no shield booster, the extender's down, capacitor's half. But we got a pretty juicy kill there. Let's uh, check it out once we're safe. We'll just cloak up right now. And we are 100% safe. I'll just warp out to 100 there. And we can comfortably check our loot out. Some medium rapids. Looks like he had, oh geez, that's nice. Mark V, Warp Disruptor, 11.4 mil. It is our lucky day. Now if that Caracal started fighting back from the beginning, uh, we probably would have had to warp away. And a medium might warp, drive 2 mil, I'll take it. All right, we'll see you guys on the next clip. Well, we got a retriever here. Um, these guys mostly always get away because they stack themselves with warp stability. Typically need two to three hounds to take these guys out. But I'm gonna unstealth, lock on this bad boy. And we'll just scare him a little bit before he warps. Glad that did zero damage at 10 kilometers. There we go. Yep, and there he goes. Well, let's stealth up and head to the next one. Well, I found a lonely venture trainer here. Um, we are slowly but surely sneaking up on him. I'm gonna go ahead and uncloak and lock him down. This guy might not have the stability. Let's just take him out. I've got lots of clips of um, venture threes and retrievers getting away. But adventure trainers are fun to kill as well. They typically don't have any loot on them. Yeah, pretty much nothing. We can loot that. Yeah, Mark Three Miners. He's probably just a bot, but I don't know. Look, because of dark ochre. That's kind of weird. So, dark ochre unstealths you, it looks like. That is very odd. Well, let's check the next mining body and see if we can pick one more uh, venture kill up for our video. Well, overall, the Hound is a pretty cool, sneaky frigate. Um, it definitely does better in groups of two and three. Um, without a web of fire, you have an extremely hard time dealing damage. 
I really hate torpedoes. I might even put small missile launchers on there just due to how many times I miss with the volley of the missiles of the uh, torpedoes here. Um, arguably, I would put one web of fire, one disruptor. Of course, your covert ops. You can do a oh crap get out of jail card. So using a small shield extender or a damage control is good. Um, I like the afterburner a little bit more than the micro warp drive because you can kind of sneak up on people, get in within range. The micro warp drive was just um, I equipped that just to get get out of jail if uh, something did happen, which did a couple times, but I seem to survive. I can't quite figure out uh, the best rigs for this. Of course, I would do velocity and inertia modifier on the mechanical rigs. Um, the explosion radius, I don't really see that doing anything different when I equipped it. Um, so I'm wondering if a uh, acceleration module, the 7.5% faster shooting would be better. Of course, damage is going to be uh, one of my favorites to equip. So probably damage and the acceleration. Um, so if you guys have any uh, tips or tricks, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Tell me your builds, what you've been successful with. Um, and tell me what I'm missing about these torpedo launchers that make them so crappy. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.